Welcome to Roll On Tech Talk. I'm Jacob Rinda, and in today's episode, we'll be discussing preloading, the purpose of preloading linear guides and linear actuators, and how best to preload for your application. A wide array of component assemblies for linear motion can be preloaded. That includes track roller bearings, profile rail guides, and linear drives such as ball screws. For linear bearings and guides, the clearances between the rolling elements in the slider and the linear rail are reduced or eliminated. The result is a more rigid assembly that exhibits less deflection and no backlash when under load. Motion control applications involving positioning rely on preloading to accurately and repeatably move a payload. Let's look at roll-on monorail. These are profile rail linear guides used in applications needing high precision positioning of light to heavy payloads. The sliding element is a block containing recirculating rows of ball bearings. These ball bearings can have diameters slightly exceeding the distance from the raceway surface on the rail to that of the slider ball track where the balls reside. Those slightly oversized balls may induce a preload that is 2% of the linear guide's overall dynamic load capacity, or what we call a 2% preload. Very oversized ball bearings might impart a 10% preload. The Roll-On Monorail series comes in four preload settings. VC has a clearance between the guide elements. V0 has near zero clearance for smooth motion. V1 has a light preload to increase rigidity and reduce deflection and vibration. And V2 has an even tighter fit to balance heavy loads, although it does increase drive force and reduce lifetime and acceleration of the guide. Though the abbreviations used to designate preloads vary between linear motion components and manufacturers, these preload ratings are fairly consistent across the linear motion industry, and most are expressed as a percentage of the guide's load capacity. The most suitable preload for a linear bearing or guide primarily depends on the quantity of rails and guides on a given axis, and if two or more rails are used in parallel, the precision of the parallelism that can be achieved between the rails. Twin rail actuators use pairs of carriages on parallel rails to provide four point support and minimize pitch, roll, and yaw. Preloading guides in this arrangement requires greater parallelism between the rails to prevent internal forces from reducing the lifetime of the guides. High rigidity and system dynamics can also dictate the most suitable preload. Ball screws and linear motors often pair with moderately and heavily preloaded linear guides, and that's generally because the same considerations that dictate which drive should be used in an application often informs which preload should be used as well. For example, a precision ball screw unit such as the Roll-On TT ball screw actuator achieves high rigidity in part thanks to a high preload slider block. High preload can also help avoid slippage of the rolling elements during high accelerations, like on axes employing a linear motor, for example. Especially in applications appropriate for miniature designs, if forces generated by preloading would dramatically shorten expected lifetime, other solutions should be considered. And the same is true wherever the friction forces that accompany preloading would necessitate a larger and more expensive motor to overcome increased drive force. And finally, wherever preloading friction would cause unacceptably high heat generation in the guide, preloading should be reduced or eliminated. So now that we've reviewed some designs for which preload should be minimized or avoided, let's discuss where preloading is essential. A light preload of 2% to 4% of the dynamic load capacity of a guide is often required to maintain precision in applications such as cutting, printing, assembling, packaging, medical imaging, and other motion control applications transporting light and moderate loads. Light preloading may also be sufficient for a guide that generally transports payloads in only one direction. Moderate to heavy preloading of 5% to 10% and even beyond in some cases, is often required to prevent guides from deflecting in warehousing, machining, and other motion applications transporting larger loads. More preloading may also be required to boost rigidity in applications where a linear guide is cantilevered, such as an end effector or tooling on a robot. 
For more information on the preloads that Roll-On recommends for its monorail or actuators, or for other linear guides like our self-lining compact rail or customizable curvy line, visit our website at rollon.com and download the linear line catalog. If you like this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.